Hi, I'm Shweta, the founder of Wildermart, and today I'm here to tell you, do not read food labels. You heard me right, do not read food labels, and here are three reasons why. Number one, you shouldn't have to. Now think of the restaurant that you go to often. There are no ingredients printed on the menu, right? But you trust the restaurant to give you the food that you're paying for. And if one day, let's say you find out that the restaurant was adding MSG, food colors, food additives to that food, you would stop buying that food. You would not go back to that restaurant. So why is our standard different for packaged foods? If we are paying for a bag of chips and all we ask for is food, which is potato chips, we should get potato chips in return, not potato chips and a cocktail of chemicals, right? So you shouldn't have to read labels. Number two, you don't have the time to. How would you read labels? You would probably Google or GPT it, right? Now, for every ingredient to understand the impact it has on your health and body, you will at least need to spend two to three minutes. Every packet that you buy will have at least five food additives. So imagine spending 15 minutes per packet per the number of products that you're buying. Now, grocery shopping is usually, usually a chore over the weekend. Who has the time to do this? You want to read labels but you don't have the time to read labels. And third, you don't know how to, and you may get offended at this, but trust me, I have worked on the algorithms. There are more than 2000 ingredients. Each of them come with at least two to three compound names. All of them can impact potentially eight to 10 human body systems. Now, how are you expected to store so much data, to process that data, and then be able to decide whether you want that ingredient in your food or not? It is not the job for a human to read labels. It is the job of a machine. It's the job of a system, which is why we built the algorithms, which is why we built the system which could read labels. So at Wildemart, what we've done is we've created a database of more than 2,000 ingredients with the possible health impact it has. And we've decided which ingredients we will allow on the labels, which we will not allow because they are not good for human health, and which we will allow with a warning so that you can use your discretion to purchase that or not. At Wildemart, we read the labels so that you shouldn't have to because you don't have the time to and you don't know how to. We read the labels so you don't have to.